everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Mortgage Minute. Today we are going to take a look at how the lenders use a sliding scale to determine the amount of down payment required on a purchase, so stay tuned. Okay, so the sliding scale is used by the majority of lenders to determine how much down payment is required on larger value transactions. So the sliding scale looks something like this. The lender may lend 80% on the first million and then 60% on the remaining value. So for example, if you have a $1.5 million purchase, the lender is gonna give you $800,000 for the first 1 million and then $300,000 on the remaining $500,000 which is gonna give you a total mortgage amount of 1.1 million and a down payment requirement of 400,000. Now the sliding scale may change on where the property is located. For example, some lenders may do 80% of the first 1.5 and then 60% of the remaining property value if that property is located in a major city center, while the remainder of the province may only be 80% on the first million and 60% on the additional. Now the sliding scale may also be adjusted for vacation and cottage properties as well, just on a lower scale. Now each lender has their own policies that they use. So some lenders may not use the sliding scale. So it's important to talk to your mortgage broker before considering a high value purchase to ensure that you have the necessary down payment required for that purchase. Thanks for stopping by guys. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. As always, please leave all your questions and comments down below and we'll see you guys next week.